So I'm gonna show you guys how I do my everyday go-to curl wave. This is like five day hair. So it's getting kind of dingy. My hair, since it's more dry, doesn't get necessarily super oily. So it just gets kind of like this gross feeling, but I'm gonna show you a dry shampoo that I've been loving. So I'm gonna take the Beach Waver Second Chance Dry Shampoo. This stuff smells really good. It doesn't leave any of that gritty texture. What I also love about this dry shampoo is some dry shampoos, after the first day of using them, if I'm gonna try to use dry shampoo for two days, by the second day, it's like twice as gross feeling and flat, and this one does not do that to my hair. It's vegan, paraben-free, cruelty-free, formaldehyde-free, sulfate-free, phthalate, blah, 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 you know? It's all the good things. And then I'm gonna take this onset brush. This is the coolest little brush. You can spray your products on it as well, like mousses or anything you like to use. It's a nylon bore bristle blend. I've been favoring a middle part for a while now. I like it. I think it was when my hair started thinning over here after I had Lorelei and it just kind of covers it by parting right down the middle. I'm obsessed with this. This is a great barrier heat protectant spray by Beach Waver and the smell of this is really, really good. I especially love to do a finishing touch with it because it cancels out, like I said, any smell of heat and it's a light hold heat protectant. So I'm gonna style my hair with the Beach Waver S1.25, it's the bigger barrel. I love this for my hair since it's longer and I like the curl that I get from it. I like a bigger body curl. I became so curious about Beach Waver after I saw all the Victoria's Secret models use this tool a couple of years ago for the fashion show. So I'm so excited to show you guys the look I've been getting with this. I'm using this on my daughter's hair who has straight hair. It does not hold a curl very well at all and her hair will actually hold really good with this. I will do that in a separate video. If you are a straight hair girl, this is probably a good tool to look into getting because it's been working for her and I've tried everything. I have her right here, I'm gonna turn it on and let it heat up while I tell you about it. So there's a power on button right here, it goes to 350 automatically, and then there's a plus and minus so you can alter that heat. It has the auto rotating, which is so nice. Very helpful, very user friendly. So one goes one way, one goes the other, depending on how you've clamped it or how you're wanting your curls to go, fast or slow. So if you do it fast, there's a clamp. Um, and you can see that it's just down there at the end or wherever that part of your hair is touching. And then you have typically like a two-in-one, you could just use it as a wand or use it with the clamp. I don't do anything crazy with my curl. I just kind of go with what I'm feeling. Everything by my face goes away from my face. So I use about hmm, an inch and a half thickness of hair. It gets hot pretty fast. I was making sure it heated up, but it does get hot pretty fast. Go about halfway down and then you hit the button and it'll just rotate up um, however far you want it to go. And since my hair is longer, that's why I'm doing halfway. You can, of course, get your whole hair piece in that, in that curl if you want, but I just break it into half so that the top part gets a really good time with the heat. And there's the curl.
there's also this little stand right here so this is what my hair looks like after the curls have been done you can leave it like this i don't prefer to leave my curls like this um okay and let me just tell you something else i tend to do i always tend to curl my right side tighter than my left for some reason but it all looks fine in the end but i don't know why i do that i don't know if it's because it's more easy for me to do this side and this side feels a little more unnatural but anywho now what i'm gonna do is i like to wait till it completely cools this side's obviously cool this side is not i'm gonna take my brush and i'm gonna spray my great barrier spray on it and then i'm just going to brush through the curls i like this look on me um, of a more like i said big body wave so brushing out the curls gives me that look and they obviously will just pop back into their natural place after you brush it out but it just looks more like big bodied instead of tight curls it gives that look that your hair has been in like rollers all morning but they haven't so this is how i get my quick easy curls i can do this really really fast in the morning and then my curls will last through two or three days of curl i'll just touch up in the morning like pieces usually up top or around my face So I hope you enjoyed this. Definitely go check out Beach Waver. There it is. I'm going to put a link below where you can go check out this tool that I used and the products that I mentioned, the Great Barrier Spray, the Second Chance Dry Shampoo, and the Pro Brush. I am so in love, just like I thought I would be. I, I've loved seeing it on other people in their hair, and I know I would love it. And I'm pretty picky with my curling iron, so if I've approved it then you know that it's really really good so go check out beach waver let me know how you prefer your curls do you like tighter curls big body waves thank you so much for watching and i'll see y'all in my next video